the Lay Child with Unfair Movement. I want to bring a video to you guys. Um, this is a video about an article that I read. Um, it's, it's actually about a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of an article that I read. It, um, it said, referring to God as a he makes women feel less Christian. Um, it's crazy because I was working on a video about um, um, being a Christian. Uh, who should we call, call Christian? And I just, I just want to read a little bit of this article and then speak on it a little bit. All right, so this article is found in... I'm going to say go to um, Christian Headline News. All right, so it says, A group in the Church of England says, It will shift the language of worship to call God a female, just to be fair, and to combat sexism. Sexism, it isn't that sexism to change the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit from he to she. The Reverend Irma Pierce, Percy, chaplain of Trinity College, Oxford, said the denomination, the dominance of male language makes women feel like they are less holy. She is a member of, of, of Watch Women in the Church, the group that helped win the argument for female bishops in the Church of England, and said using the word she... For God would make would be more inclusive. The group feels that the idea of King, Lord, and Father are too one-sided. If we continue to address our worship to an almost exclusively male God, then we are failing. Then we are failing God, because God is such so much more than anybody can ever understand. I'm going to try to find more of the article. Um, okay, yeah, it, it, this is out of the Daily Mail. Um, this article is out of the, the Daily Mail. Okay, it says, um, This means that women cannot see themselves as holy and less able to repent, uh, uh, represent Christ, less able to represent Christ in the world. If we take seriously the idea that men and women are made in the image of God, um, both, both of the image of God, <clears throat> both male and female language used, um, to, um, should be used. Um, the, the Reverend Katie Bot Botley, Vitaker of St. Um, Viker of St. Mary's and St. Martin's in Bylont, Nottinghamshire, told the paper that she and other um, priests had uh, quietly dropped references to him, um, references to he, he, him, when referring to God. And Hillary Cotton, um, Cotton ch um, chairman of Watch, said the idea, or chairwoman, they got that wrong, chairwoman of um, Watch said the idea had been discussed by a Olympiad um, 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 Palace Committee exploring the experience of women in the church known as the Transformation Steering Group. She added, we have conversations among the group and we are working towards um, working with those who are involved in um, high church, uh, high church, in high church of England, we are at a very, very pre preliminary pre preliminary stag um, stage in the terms of shifting the language of worship. She went on to say the question of how we uh, we write the service of church of England in a way that border um borderness. Our understanding of God is a difficult question over which we will wrestle for a number of years. This has, this has arisen now because of a change in gender culture. Okay, I don't want to read no more of this. I can go on for days. I don't want to read no more of this. Um, so basically what's going on now is 
we're adding to the word. Women are coming into the church, adding to the word. Not not all women, but <coughs> wow, wow, this is femin feminism coming into the church, and feminism is coming into that church, adding adding to the word of God. Right? You can't change because you are female. God word is what He left. If you feel less than if you feel less than a Christian because we use the word he and she, it's not because we use the word he and she that you less than a Christian. It's because you put other ideals above the ideals of the Bible of which God left for us to know him by. We are to know God by the Bible. There's no other way of knowing God than, than of the Bible and the Holy Spirit. Now the Bible says clearly... In John 14, if you give me a second, we'll go there so I can be um, correct on this. So I don't want nobody to, to get out of line with me. I think I'm getting out of line. But if we go into um, the book of John, we will clearly see a picture of who, who of, of what God is. Right? So we go in the book of John 14. I mean, um, John chapter 14. And and I believe seven, John fourteen and seven. Give me a second. I should have had this up already. What is going on here? Okay, we're in John fourteen. And seven. I'm trying to get the. All right, it says we're gonna start around. We want to start at the beginning of John 14, and let's just read a little bit. Let not your heart. This is Jesus talking. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, you also believe in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If they were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That, that where I am, there we should be. And where I go, ye should know, and the way ye should know. Thomas said unto the Lord, we, How will we know? What will we know? Um, um, it said unto the Lord, we know not whether thou goeth, and can we uh, can we know the way? Jesus said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but through me." If ye had known me, you should know my Father. From henceforth ye should know him and have seen him. Philip says, "We in eight, we in John chapter um, fourteen and eight. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and his significant uh, significance to us." Jesus said unto him, Have you been with me so long that ye know not that you has not known with me? Philip, he said that he said, He that have seen me have seen the Father. And you said that then you said that then show us the Father. Believe that believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. The word I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but of the Father who dwells in me. He doeth the work. Now, we we, we want to focus on seven. He said, "If you know me, you shall. If 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 you know me, you shall have known the Father also. For henceforth you know him, and you have seen him." Jesus said, "If you look at me, you've seen the Father." Right when we when we look at Jesus, how do we look at Jesus? We didn't look at Jesus as a female. Jesus was not a female. Jesus was a man, right? He was always called a son of God. So that 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 refers to son of God, a son of man. That refers to Jesus as a male. Now, the Bible is clear in other places. I I didn't have this ready. That this whole sex thing, man and female, is an earthly thing. And it's for, and it was for headship, and it was for, for um, um, reprodu reproducing, um, having babies, 
right? It was for headship and having babies. It wasn't for men are better than women, and it wasn't for women are better than men. It was an order that God set up, and he used male and female. But in that order of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is all male, and it's a different order. It's a father order. So when we get into heaven, it's not going to be an order of male and female. So God is not neither male nor female. Well, he is male because Jesus was male. But what I'm saying is when we get to heaven, that male and female thing is not going to matter. But this is just another doctrine sneaking into the church that the church has to cleanse out. We are seeing the church in a very real way. Um, and, 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 I, and I will separate the Catholic Church from the Christian Church because there is a separation. But if we see that the Christian Church is getting right back under the, 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 the Catholic Church. And um, to understand that, you got to understand the, um, the, Protest, the Protestant Reformation. 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 I'm sorry, I can't speak that word. But you gotta understand that. But what I'm what I'm trying to say is we have to be careful because what's happening in 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 in, in, in the church, and in, in the Catholic Church is gonna happen in, in in the Christian Church. So we gotta be careful of the doctrines and 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 and, and, and the powers and the leaders and the demonic forces because focusing on sex is demonic. Focusing on on male and female. As to knowing my salvation is demonic. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through me. So I don't care if you're a female or if you're a male. No one is going to get to the Father but through Jesus. So that, me being a male doesn't make me better than any female. And any female does not make me better than any male. We are called to love each other. Female nor male. Um, female or male. We are called to love each other. So... We are now living in a time where we're putting things that are not the gospel in the place of the gospel. And this is where the church is becoming very, this is where the church is becoming very, I'm going to say satanic, satanic. This is where the church is becoming very evil. But I'm going to tell you. God is going to cleanse his church, and I find joy in that. I find joy that God is... I, I think about the, the children of Israel when they, when they left out of, of slavery out of Egypt. And we see a clear picture of the first generation that complained and, 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 and didn't focus on God, but was focused on themselves, was focused on, on other gender. They didn't go into the... Um, they didn't go into the to the to the promised land. Moses and them didn't go into the promised land. That first generation didn't go. It was the second generation with Joshua and them who who went into the, the in there with then went, went into the uh, promised land. And they went into the promised land saying, "Okay, my God is everything, and we're gonna fight for God." And I believe that God is calling the people. I think God is raising men and women that's gonna say it's not about me. It's not about my sex. It's not about the house. We talked about this in the other video. It's not about the house house that is built but it's about the builder and i'm very excited about that and i find joy in that right there um i hope this video helped you i hope i hope we can get over this whole what sex matters the most or whatever and get back to loving each other the lace hour i'm third movement